We're gonna give this a try. All right. That's Manny. That's Manny. <laughs> watching us he's watching, watching us him. watching you <laughs> well good morning guys and welcome to knowledge fest Las. thank you <laughs> that's good <laughs> man at work how you doing good and you yeah awesome. you know i know it's cool he loves right everybody loves my shoes we had an incredible foot massage yesterday really yes why didn't and, you call huh? <laughs> why didn't you call they're everywhere yeah yeah, yeah. they're on there anyway so i was with some friends and uh, they really laughed at me because I almost immediately started snoring. Oh, wow. Because it was so <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> I bet, especially after all of this. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Don't publish that story. This is live. <laughs> oh, right. Is it really live? Yeah, 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 we're live. Okay, well, I'll send you this footage. Thank you, please <laughs> do. Of me, snor of me snoring. Oh, God, yes. <laughs> I, I will definitely. Uh, Thank you. Uh, uh, so, yeah. yeah. You want to introduce the show? Uh, Las Vegas, 2023. We're in Las Vegas, 2023. What are, what are people writing there? What's up, fellas? Hey, Dean and Fernando. <laughs> Don't worry, no one's fine. No it was right at the beginning of the show. Oh. I'm joking, everybody saw it. <laughs> How many people are on it? 40. 40, okay, better than 40,000 or whatever. <laughs> you guys know what to do, share with friends. No, no, you're good. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyways, we are in the Morrell booth. They're the sponsor of our trip here. Who's that guy? It's Casey. Hold on, it's, it's like a, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, 2023, let's just get rolling. We gotta do this as quick as we possibly can because if you look, I'm sorry for everyone getting dizzy, if you look over here, that screen, you guys recognize that logo. That is the logo for the show, the class we're gonna be teaching three of back to back. You excited? Super, let's get this over with. Yes, Man, right? this yeah, is the exactly. car. Everyone got to hear, we filmed it of course. We'll show you guys that later. And the journey starts, thank you Casey. Thank you. All right, we're gonna run over here to this so let's corner. Let's start with this one. So back, back from a hiatus of about 10 years, we have the fine folks of Pioneer. Yeah. They have, of course, trainings. They have the new product for this year. They have a big pickup truck. Yeah. And then behind that, we have the guys from Kingpin, Kingpin University. And then behind that is the full spectrum laser guys. Those guys will be teaching a class later today. Uh, three of them and then over here this class is from Ken Ward that you see there he'll be talking about DSP and there's Mr. McNulty and then we're gonna follow this around and as we go this way these are show, little tiny yeah. side booths um, let me peek behind this curtain yes. here real quick this is the cars uh, that you can come and get demos of so when you're in the booths that is Mike Rios' car. We filmed that this morning, and you'll get a chance to see that. Hold on, guys, let me fix this camera here. You guys will get a chance to see that. We filmed it. It sounds amazing. It's got a full Moscone Gladen system in it. This is the backside of the Focal booth. Uh -huh. ZZ2 is here showing some new radios, some new interfaces, moving along, innovative. I don't know what they do but automotive systems, GCH. Moving on, Audio Mobile, got some new products. How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. Magnadine showing their alarm systems. How you doing? Redenzo, good morning. Hello, Sound good morning. skins in the house. Yeah. And then of course, Lucas Lighting has their booth here. We are in the, this is the pre-time. So uh, what that means is that the show floor is not open yet, so some of the vendors are not in their booths. There's no one here. We wanted to come in early, make sure you guys got a chance to see stuff. Rydeen with their camera system, mirror system. Uh, Arc Audio is in full force here with their toolbox displays. They have a motorcycle here with their audio. Fred's truck that you guys have seen. Motorcycle, yeah. So everyone is getting ready for an action-packed day. Most of you guys will recognize this Bronco that uh, Sage built from Sounds Good Audio. Audio, thank yeah. you. Uh, 
This year they brought the name system in and so we have a combination of the home and car audio that we guys all got to see at the Vibe House from Focal yep, earlier yeah. or later last year, earlier whatever last year. Um, moving into the corner here, Power Base, as you guys know, one of my favorite factory upgrade companies is you know showing off their wares, their big amplifiers. Yeah. Speakers. Some of their new marine stuff that they have. Then moving along, this. If you guys follow Andy Waymeyer, this is his Volvo that he's been working tirelessly on. And it is here for people to hear and do sound demos on. Hey, how's it going? Oh, no. <laughs> the show isn't even open yet. Yeah, why are you recording? We've got 30 minutes. You're good. You're good. <laughs> uh, um, and then Fox here. Acoustics yeah. this year. Uh, there's Joe Fox. For any of you guys who are wondering what he looks like. And he has a ton of new boxes, so make sure to head over to his website and check those out. That's right. Uh, this thing pounds. This is a combination uh, kicker with uh, Fox Box. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Um, moving along, uh, we have the guys Sir from Sir and Vega Diamond. Yeah. Of course, full effect, four motorcycles, a ton of equipment out. Yeah. And then, of course, a nice classic car up here in the front to show that off. That's right. And then, once you get past that, coming down the next aisle, we have obviously HKI. So we have Ground Zero, Turi, Sound Digital. What, oh, um, Sound Digital, Ground yeah. Zero. Turi. This is Dougie Fresh's car. Yeah. They got that done for this. I've not heard it yet, but I heard this is probably the best sounding car here, uh, according oh, to Sage. Fast. Um, moving along here, I know we got we got to get through this. Hey guys, uh, we have all the new Alpine stuff. Yeah, you don't have to speak today, but thank you, Eric. Fantastic. We're just gonna. <laughs> That's good for everybody. Thank you, oh, thank you. Sorry. So we have the new status. We're moving. Oh, this is—is is this the new amp? That's the DSP amp. Perfect. There we go. Moving along, the new R's, the new R series amplifiers, the, the new, new S. S. Oh, that looks nice. Ooh, pretty cool. Uh, the new S2 amplifiers. That's that cool shallow mount subwoofer that you can mount between the box. These are the screw holes for that. Uh, finally, a finished version. If you guys watched this last year, you saw the production version of this. Now we have the actual finished version. Dude, that is rock hard. Uh, this is the new amplifier with the auto setup we showed you guys on the news. Uh, they had a class talking about that today. And of course, yeah. the radios, those all carry over from last year. Coming over to this side, we have the Memphis guys wearing the coolest shirts ever. They have a motorcycle, they have their side by side, and showing a bunch of marine stuff. Staller Net is in the house. We'll just cut through their booth and we'll come over here and we'll start in the back corner uh, next to Pioneer. Over here, we have Excess Power came to the show and brought the sundown stuff along with their batteries, their power supplies. This is kind of cool. They're moving into uh, mainstream. Of course, they brought their gigantic woofers. I saw this one yesterday, and I was like, I, I want this. This is so cool. Look at this beast here. How awesome is that? Yeah. So, pretty cool. On the cool. other side, we have Nakamichi. Yes, behind the morale booth, we have the Nakamichi guys. Yeah. With that cool radio that we showed you that guys one over SEMA. There. Yeah. That thing is bad ass, as you guys know. That brings us up to the morale booth, and we'll move forward through the hallway. On the left side here, we have AudioVox showing off all the AudioVox. Uh, basically, this is like a micro version of what we got to see at SEMA. And then new this year is the Museway. So they are here, and in effect, they brought this cool Porsche electric, Porsche EV. And then here's, a, here's the table of like so many amplifiers. Something new that they introduced while they were here and is why they brought a car is they, Museway is introducing their speakers. So they have a full speaker line that they're showing off here, which is really sweet. We'll come around. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? All right, getting back in the center of the aisle, you guys recognize this guy here? Yeah, there he is. Hey, you know him, you love him. Uh, so Kicker has showed up. They brought their little mini car. And then off to the left side there again, we have Hertz, Audison, um, 
and this this thing is this thing is simply crazy. If you guys caught the video we did at SEMA, same guys, that guy, uh, and they built this insanely loud F-150. Yeah. It's an F-1 Dodge. Sorry, it's Dodge. My bad. He's doing. Um, with a ton of the new multi-channel amplifiers from Audison. Yeah. It's crazy loud, uh, and will be louder at the next event. Yep, they told me they're going full crazy, full stupid, as I said. And they're like, yep, Sony guys are here. You guys got to see this the other day on the Instagram show. We're showing off all the new ES or the current ES stuff. Uh, there's really nothing new that we haven't talked about. Um, this we took a look at like last year, I believe. I just think this has just been updated now with the new ES stuff. And uh, our boy Jared did a whole new redesign. Install. Uh, redesign added in this cool uh, glowing floor when this is off it looks totally black looks like wood grain when it's on you get to see this cool stuff here next to them going down the next aisle it starts off with Kenwood Kenwood is getting into the motorcycle world not just with cameras they have full audio now so they are showing a motorcycle in the booth that has all the new Kenwood motorcycle stuff in it I'm sure we'll get our boy Seth on one of the cool or things. Maybe we'll get this guy on. Yeah. And we'll talk about, yeah, I know. We'll Who's talk it? about the new uh, Kenwood product. This is my parole officer. Is gonna <laughs> <see this. laughs> uh, behind them, of course, is JVC, JVC Kenwood. Uh, they did have, you recognize those? Uh, they have those our displays, displays from the training we did for them earlier or later last year, earlier last year, whatever you want to say, last year. Uh, coming up behind them is the audio control booth. Uh, they and have, global. Yep. So yeah, they have, it's very similar to what we saw at SEMA. Uh, SEMA. Um, they do have new products coming out, but they're not showcasing them here yet. Yeah. Uh, so right now they're still excited about the marine amplifiers. Coming up behind them is Boss. They have, of course, their new motorcycle stuff, as well as some of their radios, the full amplifier line. Uh, behind them we have Dow, which is showing off the Triton product. Uh, and of course, they are also the distributor for Sony. For a lot of companies. A lot are. of companies. Yeah. Uh, and then Linkswell, they make the big T-style radios, as you can see from the demo. It's one of the coolest backdrops. They got a big TV, yeah. put it to scale. It looks really awesome. They also sell some Jeep stuff. Behind that is where we're going to be in just a little bit. We start at 1210. That's why we're kind of talking fast and really not getting the opportunity to go in and dive deep into those. And of course, PRV, following that up with the PRV stuff. Um, they of course have the coolest little, you know, the horn stuff that, wall. Well, that's pretty awesome. Right across from audio control, guys, here, we have the Precision Power with their motorcycle equipment. And that's gonna bring us into the uh, Metro booth. Uh, they're caught, they are teaming up with the guys from PCA. PCA. Yeah. They have these awesome sub-enclosures you can buy. So these are a little bit more wild uh, than the conventional boxes you would see. Yeah. They this tried nice. to you know, come up with their version of the under truck box. So looking really cool. This is an electric F-150. Yeah. And of course Metro is showing off uh, a lot of the stuff we got to take a look at at SEMA. Uh, First Tech is here, uh, along with Maestro. Walk over here real quick, take a look. We got a couple new kits that Maestro is coming out with. Uh, Mustang, we've seen that. I don't know what that is. T harnesses. Of course, the new the new V style T harnesses with the add on clips make life easy. Yeah. Um, they're not introducing the new stuff yet that we're gonna see in a couple months. Race Sport Lighting is in the house. The guys from Dynamat. How you yeah. Doing? Uh, V12 dashboard is a software meant for retailers. Uh, guys from Smart Start here. How you doing? Snap Financial. And then we have the MECP along with Zero Vision. This is, of course, if you want to become an installer and you'd like to take classes online that will help you do it. There you go. Wayne Harris that we actually saw over in the Audison booth. He's here talking about their software. And then Rich, who would normally be here, is the RDV FL. They have a bunch of new screens along with a ton of new pieces to do 
radio. Wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, rear Thank you. camera, front camera, dynamics, and all that stuff. Yep. And we have this guy. Some of you guys might know who he is. <laughs> How are you? I'm okay. Uh, Brian is doing the training right behind us. He's going to be talking about... What are you going to be talking about? That's Natan's. No, this is mine. Okay. <laughs> it's designed by Natan. This is not his. It's Natan's system. <laughs> yeah. It's mine. Yeah. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, this is my microphone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can keep it. It's all right. All right, go easy. Um, I'm doing a, a tuning training, just a, a you know basic overview of what we're going to do on uh, you know if we're tuning, we're going to have some hands-on. So five, six guys will be able to come up and do uh, hands-on training. Hi. Hi. Hold on. Right now I'm Superman. Clark. Clark Kent. Now I'm Clark Kent, according to my mom. Uh, you know, I, I didn't even uh, recognize you. I know. I, I, it's so much of a difference. It is. It is. My mom said that the other day. She goes, I didn't recognize you with your glasses off. Well, I know. It's really. Yeah. I tell you what. Thank you guys so much. You want to end the show for us? Just say yeah. Yes. Sure. Say, just say thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for watching. Uh, tune back in again every day. Every day. Also, to end this, oh, there's the, there's the dogs. Dun, dun, there they are. Dun, dun. They're, they're upset because they're not making the cut. Yeah, right? <laughs> Tonight is the Industry Awards. We're not going to be able to stream them on our channel. However, we will put a link up on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. It's going to be a Vimeo because there is going to be music that is totally not DRM friendly. Uh, and so they don't want to allow anyone to have access to the stream, so you will have to go to a Vimeo page. Uh, but if you have internet access, of course, you'll be able to watch it. Look forward to those links. I'll put them up a little later today. The live show is going to start sometime about 8 o'clock, so if you're interested in seeing that, do we want to predict who might win? I think that uh, Dean's going to win, personally. Oh, I think it's going to be Dean. I'm betting on, I'm betting on him. But there's 12 guys to choose from, so yeah, it's all, anybody's game. Yeah, and, and all awesome guys, all awesome guys. I'll be in the audience taking pictures of everybody, so it'll be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we hope you like this tour of the floor. We're sorry that we didn't get to do as much content. We'll talk about that on Saturday when we get back in the Bay and we do our regular scheduled show. But until then, Fernando. On to the next one, guys. Boom. See ya.